Now then, we've got a bit of a problem here. It's a 12 volt Victron Multi Plus, 1.2 kilowatts. Yeah, and let me take the top off. What I'd like to know is what you think. We switch this on. Yeah, there's a few clicks. That goes on and then it goes to fault. Okay, and occasionally it will cycle. But we need to zoom down now and I'll show you the symptoms. So let's just switch this off. Yeah. Okay, where are we? Okay, these are an N channel FET RU30231R. Um, I think we'll zoom in some more. So I've learnt some things from that last video I did about repairing the small maximum power point Victron char um, charge controller. Yeah, so. If we look at this, these are N channels, so we've got source, drain, gate, yeah, and that's the positive there. So let us just, it's switched off at the moment, yeah. If we first of all, we're on DC volts, so that's the positive. Can we see the, uh, can we see the multimeter? No, we can't. There you go, you can see it now. So we're going to the source. Yeah. 13 volts. We're going to the drain, 13 volts. And we're going to the gate, 13 volts. I don't think that's right. So let's go to the negative. Yeah. So on the negative, We've got nothing. We've got nothing. We've got nothing. These should be switching the negative. Okay, now let's just move it across to continuity. So from the positive. From the negative. I'm not sure what on earth's going on. Let's go the positive. Okay, let's switch it on now. Right, switched on. On the net on the positive side, we've got these strange readings that I'm not quite sure what's going on. Yeah, but it doesn't work. So I've, I've disconnected the battery now. Yeah. So the other weird thing is, um, where do we go in? We're going to go to 12 volts DC. I'm going to reconnect the battery. And just zoom out a bit. Okay, we've got a load of FETs here. Yeah. And then the output of these two go to either side of that transformer. So that's a sort of flip-flop, isn't it? It's breaking up the DC. So, switch it on. So on the DC, we've got DC to there, not to the middle, to the outside and DC to the transformer okay and DC to the other side of the transformer from the positive 
and if you go on the meter to AC we've got nothing so we're just getting DC through to the transformer and then we're going from the negative there that's negative there nothing there nothing there and nothing on the transformer so tell me what you think have we got some of these FETs duff or all of them and there's a row here there's a row there a row there and a row there so in total there are 16 FETs yeah and those who you're asking yeah that fuse is intact and it's all right because we're getting the volts through to there but we need AC going to the transformer not DC tell me what you think some of you will go oh it's simple it's this or it's that so uh, I look forward to your comments cheers for now <laughs>